back like we never left. What is good, everybody? If you're new to the channel, allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Weave, and here on my channel, we coach you through three crucial facets of your life. First, on your personal growth and development. Second, we continuously push you towards professional greatness as you move forward in your careers in business and entrepreneurship. Third, we always help you to build, maintain, and nurture long, lasting, and more meaningful relationships. Today, I got an email request about being way too restrictive and not giving enough space in your relationship. You already know how I get down. I don't like to waste time and I'm ready to get into it. So let's do that right now. Sometimes in a relationship with a man or woman, it's important to keep things in perspective. Sometimes a little distance can give them the freedom to get their mind right so that now they can come back with a refreshed sense of love and appreciation for you. And just like anything else in life, there is always a such thing as too much. And look, this is no indictment on you. No one is telling you that you aren't a good partner or that you aren't supportive beyond measure, but some Sometimes, just sometimes, it can be a bit much. So that freedom, the freedom to come and go, the freedom to have space, the freedom to not feel so restrictive in that relationship, it's a good thing. See, when your partner says to you that they need some time to themselves, just to get out, to go out, to spend time with friends and family, it's a plea for you for not only space, but the need for mindless interaction with others. And think about it this way too. Y'all live together, eat together, have sex together, sleep together, go out on dates together, Together and do a majority of the things in your lives together, right? So it's not only right that they have some sort of space that allows a release, it's also part of the reason why relationships suffer because the other person feels like they aren't enough. But then you also feel needy if you ask for more attention. So I got you. You want your partner to feel fulfilled, like you're enough. But there is a huge difference between knowing you're enough and knowing you're the only. And think about it from this perspective too. Don't you want your partner to have a comfortable sense of identity and normalcy outside of your relationship? Because that's what makes it healthy, right? The fact that you can love your partner in a way that allows them to feel free, that's real love, right? Not only is it showing love, it's also a selfless act. Because when you constantly have to be at the center, be the end all, be all, that would be selfish, wouldn't it? And that type of energy isn't conducing to having the type of happy relationship we each strive for, right? So let go of the reins a little bit. Sit back, relax, enjoy life life together and apart and allow your partner to do the same. Because when you don't, you know what that causes, right? It causes them to find separate releases of energy anyway. Except now, you're not in the loop. Now, you start seeing unusual and uncharacteristic behavior. New friends you never heard about. Inconsistency in their story. But also a lack of interest in you. And trust and believe it is not a coincidence. In fact, it's in direct correlation to your need for control and not allowing them to feel free. So get in the habit of exploring your own opportunities to have better balance and using your time productively. Online classes, start a side business, rekindle your fire for transforming your health and getting into better shape. Because now you can use your time wisely instead of depending on the traditional forms of time spending that you are used to. But you know what that does? It allows the time that you do get to spend to be much more productive with. And in turn, makes a more appreciative you and them. You have now transformed transformed from someone who was needy and restrictive and allowing for healthy space into having productive time for your own personal improvement and growth. That time and space you allow can be the difference in reimagining how your love is shared with your partner and to lead to greater clarity of the moment. Mutual and genuine relationship happiness. That's what you're striving for. So keep doing it. As always, thank you to every single one of you for tuning in and checking out this video today. If no one has told you this already today, I appreciate you. If you found some value in the video today, make sure that you like, comment, share the video as well. Of course, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification down bottom and become an official part of a team that's always gonna push you towards personal greatness. I'll be back soon with another new video, but in the meantime, have an amazing day. Stay strong and stay inspired. And as always, until I see you guys next time, peace.